Guy 7 was in San Francisco as hundreds marched to honor the legacy of Dr. King ended at ending rather at Yerba Buena Gardens. Now this year the mood was a little different as people tried to make sense of President Trump's racial remarks in recent days. ABC 7 News reporter Leanne Melendez was there. Traveling on the now called Celebration Train has been a Bay Area tradition for more than 30 years. Happy MLK. Dozens make the 50 mile trip from San Jose to San Francisco to join others in a march to honor Martin Luther King Jr. The march down 3rd Street in San Francisco is usually a time to reflect upon the lessons of the late civil rights leader. But this year, people could not ignore the racial tensions the White House has created in recent days. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It was about all of us or none of us. And this was. This is what this is about today. The event of unity ended at Yerba Buena Gardens with a promise to continue standing up against hate and racism. And thank God San Francisco is a sanctuary city, so we don't care what they say in Washington, D.C. We are going to follow in Dr. King's legacy. King was killed in 1968. It took 15 years for Congress to finally pass legislation declaring this day a federal holiday. Today, it's the only holiday recognized as a day of service. In San Francisco, Leanne Melendez, ABC 7 News.